Hello everyone. Now this video will show you the latest data recovery solutions for Seagate hard drives with head finish. Now let's check what are the solutions within the DFL Seagate hard drive firmware repair tool and the DFL DDP data recovery hardware. First one we can check we can use the DFL Seagate firmware repair tool to diagnose the hard drive heads. Now we have unlocked the firmware error for this hard drive. To diagnose if the hard drive heads are good or not, we can try to this X command under the level 7. So if sometimes if the heads have a uh, problem we can check the value will be will show error here and in many cases when the heads are physically damaged we can find out the error messages something like this one and these error messages keep coming and users cannot enter F3 to prompt so if this, if this kind of error keep coming, that means the heads are totally damaged. So users need to swap the head by the Seagate head swap tool. Now, so first one, we can test the heads within the COM terminal by checking the error messages. And also we can use some simple command, something like the X command. Second, we can read the head map within the RAM. We can change the head map within the RAM. For example, we can edit the physical head map here within the RAM. Sometimes, after we disable the damaged head or weak head within the ROM, then we need also to edit the head map within the RAM. Second, we can check under the ROM operations, we can go to ROM edit, open the file, uh, we need to read from HDD, we can read this ROM, We can get the head map from the ROM. Now we are reading the ROM. And here we can see the head map. So we need to wait a little bit until the ROM is read. Right now, this is unlocked ROM. So we can also check to get the head map from the ROM. So first data recovery solution for the Seagate hard drives with head finger is to test the head by command and check the error, com, error messages within the COM terminal. Second is second data recovery solutions for Seagate drives with head finger is to edit its head map within the RAM. Edit physical head map and edit not head map. And this is the third one to edit the head map within the ROM. Now we can see here because this drive has 10 heads, so uh, we can simply edit the head map here. For example, 010 uh, to disable the head 0 and change it to head 1. Okay, so this is to edit the head map within the ROM. Next one, uh, we can power off, 
power on to get this drive ready because we just read this ROM, so the drive is now in boot mode. Now we send unlock key to unlock the firmware arrow. Okay. Now we go to the DFL DDP data recovery software. Uh, now edit head map within the ROM, edit head map within RAM. The next one, adjust the head flying height, head working temperature. And this one is also very helpful for CG hard drive head repair. Now we go to the function uh, advanced and here adjust adaptive temperature click edit now opt-in So this means this drive doesn't support this one. And many other uh, CG drives support this one for the head adaptive adjustment. Now we can check the next one, hard drive access firmware arrow. We can try to refresh the hard drive status. Please note for this Seagate hard drive family, and there is something we need to note. Now that if we try to use command, it shows diagnosis arrow. So for this kind of drive, we need to use one function to unlock further. We can see this is a family name. Check the log window. Operation success. Now we need to try to use the command again now it becomes normal we can try to check this one further Okay, so we can also adjust the head adaptive parameters for this family. Just one function users need to pay attention is this one. After send unlock key here, we still need to use one common search repair for this family because this is a family name. So common repair and unlock diagnosis, uh, diagnosis mode. So we need to use this one and then we can use this function to repair the weak heads. So for Seagate, we can adjust the head temperatures here. Um, for this one, this five, we can adjust adaptive auto and then save to ROM and then write the ROM. So this function is very helpful to adjust the head ad adaptive head temperatures by this one adjust auto save and then write. So this one is very uh, easy to use and very powerful so this is the first data recovery solutions for CG hard drives with 
head finial. Next one, we can see the hot swap to, uh, to access the firmware arrow. For many CK hard drives with head finial, some, for some cases, we need to use the hot swap. For hot swap, we uh, can go to RAM operations and we can try HDD initialization. Here we can find this one uh, RAM operations, okay? To note the patient ROM. This is to note the patient hard drive ROM to the donor uh, hard drive. And then we can stop motor after we notice the original ROM. Then we can uh, stop motor and then swap the PCB to the pension drive to access to the F3T prompt. So this is one is for hot swap. It's very easy. Users can also load the translator to access to the data arrow directly. Anyway, please note this one is to load the original drive translator. Notice original ROM. This is a dollar hard drive. Okay, notice original ROM and translator to the dollar drive and then stop motor and then swap PCB to the dollar to the pension drive for hot swap. Uh, next data recovery solution uh, is head map setup for imaging good heads first and then imaging the weak heads. To set up the head map for imaging, uh, we need to switch to the DFL DDP data recovery software. So this is SATA 0. We need to go to the control panel, click SATA 0 and click DDP. So uh, we can switch to the DFL DDP data recovery software. Now we have opened uh, two software at the same time for the same channel. We can see SATA 0. This is also SATA 0. But we can see the status. Now, the status are on within the DDP, but are off within the SIG firmware repair software. So that means we have switched to the DDP data recovery software successfully. Now we can try to click Leo project, disk image, next. Uh, we can try to use image to file, click finish. Now uh, we can try to click set up the head map here. Click OK. Now the program is setting up the head map. After setting up the head map, users can imaging the good heads first and then imaging the weak heads. So this is the last one, data recovery solutions available within the DFL DDP data recovery software for the CG hard drives with head finial. Because this drive, the capacity is big, so uh, we need to wait for some time until the head map is set up successfully so that we can check the head map here. Now we can try to stop it because it takes too much time. Now we can see there are also, after the head maps 
uh, is set up, we can see there are 10 heads. So, for example, if the head 0 is damaged, is weak, we can untick the head 0 and keep only the 9 heads only. If head, one, head 2 is damaged, we can uh, untick the head 0, head 2 and keep read the good heads first. So this one is very helpful to set up head map for the CD hard drives with head finger. Now let's uh, check again what are the data recovery solutions for CD hard drives with head finger. So first one, we can test the heads within the COM terminal by command or by the error messages. If the error messages are something like this one, and keep coming and cannot enter the F3 prompt, that means the heads are totally damaged. And the second is to add this head map in the ROM. So this one is available within the DFS Seagate from Repair Tool uh, here. ROM edit and open uh, read, read the ROM from the hard drive or load the external ROM here and here head map we can edit the head map here uh, next one is edit the head map within the RAM okay Th these functions are very helpful for the head damaged hard uh, CG hard drives and next one hot swap to access the firmware arrow. Okay, so users need to use uh, this one, the HDD initialization. Uh, HDD initialization. We need to switch to the Seagate, okay? We need to use this one to uh, for hot swap. Now, after this send unlock key, we need to use uh, the function called unlock diagnosis mode. Okay, operation success. Then we can go to this one. Noder. And we can use this one. Node adaptives from ROM image and the node in the translator from the uh, uh, ROM hard drive and note the ROM, original ROM or general translator to the donor drive and then stop motor for hot swap. And the last one, head swap for imaging. This one needs to be used within the DFO, DDP recovery software here. Set up head map like this one. So these are all the data recovery solutions for the Seagate 